What's up guys? Welcome back. Amazing RC. Well, as you can see, we've got our Eshin's EAT-01 and today I'm knee deep in Gary's build and for very good reason. Two actually. One, I finally have time to do it. This is the very first weekend that we've had in an entire month and a week actually. We were moving our job from one building where it's been for 23 years all the way over to a brand new building that was just built two months ago. So uh, much bigger space. Well, now that I have a bit of time, uh, I, I just got an email from Gary who this build, remember, we're, we're trading these trucks. We're gonna build these six wheel drive e-sheens any way we want to, and then we're just gonna trade them. Gary's building one, uh, RC Trail Cats, I'm building one. And um, being I had to work for a month and could really associate no time to this build at all uh, I'm a month behind and the one Gary built is actually on the way here right now so I got the electronics done if you remember we upgraded everything in this truck we tore everything out the steering servo the battery the receiver and whatever combo we threw an on and off switch in here basically so that we could mess with our lights now remember this light bar is probably not going to find its way on here. I just wanted to show you as a demonstration the on and off switch. So now that we have done that, we'll go ahead and turn it off. From the transmitter was one of my major must-haves when it came to this build. Things that, you know, just popped their way in though were like these little uh, stacks right here. I'm telling you, these uh, little metal straws, I think I found these uh, at my local big box store for like four bucks for I think five metal straws. And I just cut out these killer stacks. Now, they're not in there right now, but I mean, they're cool. You know, they have the metal straw. I just cut a little bit off the top, a little bit off the bottom, and I'm gonna get these in here. They're gonna look stellar. But you can make exhaust, you can uh, beef up your link suspension and your rock crawler these things are great check them out for sure remember we did our dumbo rc x4 transmitter x6f uh, receiver by double rc now that gives him a bunch of uh, auxiliary um uh input output so he he can hook up some more lights or another on off switch if he would like to right now this truck for another oh i don't know 24 hours is $42 with the canvas top. I'll put a link to it, but you know, if you're not watching this, the time this comes out, yeah, you may miss that $42 truck. Normally these are like 58 bucks. But anyway, they come with this little uh, receiver ESC combo. You can't upgrade it, you can't really do anything to it. Um, I decided, seeing as how this truck came with proportional steering and was already set up for that, that I would go ahead and rip everything out and start fresh. So we did the Dumbo setup as far as the receiver transmitter. We've got our on-off switch from banggood.com. We went with this cool little Reedy 2S battery. I figured this was gonna be good enough because this ESC that we got from Banggood, it can take up to a 2S LiPo. Now I've seen in the comments below that a couple people put a 3S battery on it. Gary, if you want, go ahead. But the 2S should be fine for the motor that we have hiding under here. This little 2S actually comes in the CR12 or something. What is it? The the team associated 14 or 12 uh, scale. I, I don't remember. It's a little blue pickup truck. And I had one for a little while. I made a really cool drift truck out of it. And uh, I sold it. And I... I seller's remorse almost immediately but this is the stock battery that came with it if team associated thinks it's good enough for that killer truck it'll run this just fine and i put an easy dean's plug on here soldered on both sides because he can go ahead and put whatever 2s battery he wants on here there's gonna be plenty of room to hide stuff for in the direction basically that we're gonna go this is basically traxxas's stock steering servo when it comes to this size as for lights Remember, this on-off switch, this will run two different sets of lights. And, and when you get to that really cool random thing, it'll actually blink them back and forth. Trust me, this isn't going on here, but I'm going to light this thing up like a Christmas tree. I promise you that. We've got 10 
of these really cool metal LED holders. And these are these are super sweet. And remember, and we haven't even talked about this yet, we've got this killer sheet of carbon fiber, which we'll get to here in just a second. I'm telling you, over the last month, even though I've been working, I've been getting things in for Gary's build. The battery's supposed to go up here. This one can still do that with the stock roof. So it's not like, you know, that's totally out of the question. However, I don't know. I, the, the, the cords, it may impede the glass. I don't know if that's what I'm going to do. I may be forced to. I'm not exactly sure. But under here is quite a bit of room. So what I'm going to do is uh, use a piece of this carbon fiber. Most of the carbon fiber that I got was, uh, it, it wasn't symmetrical, like the weave itself. This weave is symmetrical. It's just like a, they call it a plain weave. And it's like a box weave. And it's perfect for what I need for this build here. Two millimeters thick. I think I paid $13 for this 200 by 300 millimeter. I'll put a link to this below. I film front and back. This thing came flawless. Couldn't be happier. It's gonna get a piece of carbon fiber. Bam, right here. Gonna have all the electronics. I'm either going to maybe zip tie them down all nice and sexy. It's gonna look nice in here. This little plastic plate actually slides out. Once we get that out, our little steering servo actually goes almost right here in the stock spot. Basically, we're good to go. To be honest with you, I'm not afraid of the zip tie. I may zip tie this thing down. We're not running a one-tenth scale Traxxas TRX4. I mean, it, this is a, a relatively light truck, so, and we're adding carbon fiber and to stay that way. I think we'll be fine, to be quite honest. Um, as you can see, we've got our monster crazy motor uh, all installed, and, and this is a working setup. We've got, and we already did the lights, but as you can see, we've got steering, and everything's ready to rock and roll. I know I want carbon fiber here to basically put everything on, so I want to be able to flip the top. That's like one of the things kind of like Gen 7 Pro can do. I think that is the sexiest one no other vehicles that I can remember are doing this. Right. Well, this does the other way. I like when, and it stays. So I want to keep it from not doing that. So once I get all the electronics in, we're going to take the rest of this carbon fiber and we're going to get a really cool headache rack here. Remember, we're doing a flatbed wrecker deal and it's going to be killer when we're done with it. We've got a lot of wood go back, going back here. Um, we got this as far as a headache rack, and I want to do this just a, a tad bit taller than the roof line itself because then that's where the metal housings and LEDs are going to come into, and again, our on-off switch, along with lights underneath and the lights in the front. Plus, there's a spot for a second LED. We're going to add those as well, possibly with uh, two different colors, but a better quality LED. And I think this is going to be smoking hot when it's done. Then we're going to go to paint. And for that, you're going to have to wait until the next video. We got a ton of stuff coming, guys. I can't even list it all right now. I'm so glad to even make a video because we've been so busy with work. I'm super duper tired if you can't tell, but I just, I, I had to get down here and get on Gary's build because he told me that mine was on the way. So Gary, seeing as how I've got yours coming, you can't change yours. So you get to watch these videos live as I build the truck until I send it to you guys. I really appreciate you stopping by and checking out all of my videos. It's Brian. It's Amazing RC. We'll see you guys with another really cool video very, very soon.